Welcome back to the show. Let's get things started. My first guest tonight can be heard throughout the tri-state on 93.7 The Dog, giving everyone their country music fix. Please welcome the beautiful Rocky Smith. <laughs> Throwing t-shirts out of focus. Rocky getting the crowd excited. How are you, dear? Thank you for I coming. I come wearing gifts. Show. You do that every time you walk through the door, right? Yes, I do. Throw the dog T-shirts. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. We really appreciate you being here. I know it's kind of late, though. You're a morning person. Yes, it's extremely late. <laughs> what time do you normally get up? Um, four forty-one in the morning, to be exact. 4.41. Are you being serious? 4.41? I'm, I'm serious. I wish I would have brought my little iPod iTouch thing because it has on there 4.41. Why 4? I mean, is it some sort of special number or no, what's the deal? I, no, it's just, I actually get up a couple times in the morning. I get up at like 3 and then I go downstairs and lay down on the couch for about an hour and a half or so. And you have to sort of do it in a process so you feel like you are keep hitting the, the snooze alarm. Which I can't do with my husband because he gets up later, so... You can hit him though, right? Well, yes, yeah. You saw the PSA, I hit my wife every now <laughs> yes, and then. Yes, I don't, know. You don't push your wife in right. the bathroom. Right, You got that. Because okay, then, good. you know, you have to pay for the plumber. You have to pay for the plumber. I've been married yeah, eight years. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, let's get to know you a little bit. Everybody knows your voice from the radio, but let's get to know the real Rocky. Oh, well, let's see. I am a Marshall grad. Absolutely. And actually, it's, it's weird being back here because I spent a lot of time at Marshall and I'm a communications major and, and all that other stuff. So, and I grew up in Huntington, St. Joe grad and all that, so I've lived here my whole life. And, and you actually worked in the same department that I work in here, right? Absolutely. Now, did you all do a show called Up Late when you worked here? <laughs> no, not in the dark ages back then. No, no, we just did a satellite TV uh, courses and things like that. And I worked at WMUL too. So how did you go from WMUL to the dog? Was it right there or did you go somewhere else? No, actually I transitioned that way. I went from WMUL to WRV, well it was RVC which was the Noli station and then it transitioned into the dogs years ago. So I was actually one of the original dog members though. So. The original dog members. Yeah. Do you like that? I mean, can I, yeah. next time I see, hey there's the original dog member. Yeah, well Rocky. that's good, but then I left and then I went to Florida for a while and then came back. You happy to be back? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, beautiful this mountain is my home. state. This yeah, is my it was home. weird in Florida. I couldn't dig that at all. Well, I want to bring something up real quick. For those of you that don't know, Rocky's dad, Dr. Jose Ricard, passed away this this past summer. He truly, what a what a great man. He will be missed. Uh, the community, the athletics, everything that he has given back. And I just want to thank you, honey. Sorry for your loss, but what a great man. Thank you. It, First game was tough. I bet it was. Yeah. Because you're big on football. I mean, you're at every game. And that's what, that was our thing. My dad and I is, we did, you know, I grew up at the Henderson Center basically with women's basketball camp. I know I'm 4'11", don't laugh. And we did <laughs> women's basketball camps and we went, when we went on vacation, it was football games and basketball games traveling with the team. So it's, it's, it's tough on all of us, but, you know, I just, it's my legacy. I keep going and well, doing go. it. Keep going. And, and yeah. the team this year is looking pretty good they so look far. They fantastic. You Absolutely at, fantastic. You at the walk last week. I remember we always talk yeah. about you. You're always there no matter what, rain or shine. Yeah. You're there at the walk. What do you normally do to get these players well, first of motivated, all, I guess? I don't know what the term is. I wave like a maniac because yes. they must see me and I'm like, I, you can hear them coming because they have the um, the cops come and then here comes the buses and, and I make sure I'm right there and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? You know, I'm, I look like an idiot. So I'm sure they're all like, oh, look, it's, it's right. Rocky. It's hey, Rocky. there's Rocky. But I always make sure I'm there and I know a few of the players and I'm like, DJ, and you know, they'll laugh and stuff and you know, Phil, go try to live, stuff like that. But so you, yeah, you enjoy it. You're there pushing them along, cheering them along. Those are my kids. There would be something wrong if you weren't there. Well, you we know might what? not play a game. That's right. Yeah, we but might I not just, play a game. I feel like there. that because you know what? They know if you're not there. You know, they really, I, I think when the fans are there and, and they make that extra effort, they know. They know if they're not there. And, and they notice that. And they have said, you know, I hope, especially last year, I hope that we have some people at the walk. And I really try and use uh, me being on the air to encourage people, go to the walk, make sure you're there half hour, 2.30 is when it starts, and make sure that you're there because it, it makes a difference. Awesome. Now let's talk real quick about the dog. What mm -hmm. You're supposed to have a, a partner with you normally, but yeah. he's not here he for bailed. some reason. He totally bailed on me. He's like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. So. The Rocky and Rod, the ranch. The radio ahead, ranch. The radio ranch. Yeah. Go ahead Number and one morning show in, in the uh, tri-state area. There you go. Yay, yeah, also yeah. try that. Uh -huh. <laughs>
It's fine. We've been together for almost as long as I've been married. Really? Yep. We've but you're been... married to him, right? No. Okay. No. no. You always like telling the on-air people that they're always married. To... Oh no. No, but it's funny because it kind of like parallels all that. But uh, yeah, we've um, we've been together for about seven years, and uh, we have a lot of fun. I mean, we don't get along great. I mean, sometimes, and you can like hear you're married. No. Right. Exactly. But you know, really, truly, he is one of my closest friends. Except for when he does stuff like this and bails. And he bails on you. Yeah. And I'm actually talking nice about him for not being here, which is funny. But <laughs> Before you came out, we were talking in the back, and she had some choice words for you, Ron. So I don't, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. bring this up. Rocky I'll be there Darryl, tomorrow morning at 6. Next time we have you on, maybe he can tag along and, and, and join you. Maybe not, though. It might have been better without him. You know what? I kind of like it because okay. he's usually there with me all the time, and it's nice kind of, you know, being able to stretch out and have the whole place to myself. <laughs> Rocky, thank you for coming on. Let's give thank it up you, for darling. Rocky one more time. We'll be right back with Fletcher's Grove. Don't go anywhere.